Okay, what I'm going to do here for the next few minutes is explain to you the basics of the Lex Talus Corporation's field firing solutions precision ballistics shooting software. It's called Delta 4. And what I've done is actually plug the PDA into the computer, synced it with the computer and using a software system called My Mobile to show you with a little bit more ease on the computer screen here how it works. So the mouse cursor here actually replaces the stylus for the PDA. Okay, simply on the top of the screen here obviously we have the name Delta 4. And we have a series of buttons that are highlighted in blue across the screen. In the center of the screen here is the shot line. Above the shot line on the left hand side we have the profile summary button, wind button, wind speed, wind direction, a log button, calculate which is really the last button we press before we get a solution. On the right hand side we have targets, Coriolis button, range to target, for moving targets the speed of the target in meters per second or kilometers per hour, in this case we're in the metric screen, the target heading, which way the target's going. Below the shots, shot line we have the compass bearing or the, the uh, direction from the shooter to the target with the, in the compass bearing in degrees in this, in this situation, the angle of the shot from the shooter to the target. Below that we have on the left hand side the elevation button which is really a range card. We have the windage button which is our wind card. And to the right of that we have a lead button which is a lead, uh, lead to the target in either MOAs or mil radians. Below that here we have the solution, the actual solution in, uh, in mils, the elevation solution for the elevation turret of your telescopic site. The windage solution for your windage dial. And below that we have a turret, a turret solution. This turret solution doesn't really apply in this situation because it's in mils and it's quite easy, quite easy to refer that back to the solution above here. But in the minutes of angle or MOA solutions, in a short time I'll show you how that it can be an advantage to have that, that data in there. Below that we have a small target button, rifle profile button, offset button and the bullet profile button. Now on the bottom line we have presets, options, profiles and ranging. The presets button really is an area where we put in our atmospheric data. For instance, if we were using the current barometric pressure at sea level, we would put in the altitude in metres or feet of where we are shooting, the barometric pressure at sea level, the temperature, humidity, and that's basically all we have to put into in this screen before we shoot. Most scenarios it's easier to actually use a weather station or a portable weather station with you such as a Kestrel or a Minox or something like that. Find your station pressure at your location and just use that instead of using elevation. Next, our wind speed. It can be in metres per second or kilometres per hour in the metric screen if we were in the In the Imperial unit screen, we could use miles per hour for that, but for this scenario I'll just stick to the metrics. Range to target, if I put in 1000 metres here, and hit calculate, you'll see down here that the value changes to 10.2 mil radians of elevation. For a wind of 4 metres per second, or 14.4 kilometres per hour at 9 o'clock, which is coming from our left, I'll need a 2.1 mil correction for the wind. For the elevation here, if I wanted to refine that measurement by a few centimetres at that distance, I'll just hit this box here and I'll have a, a more refined solution of 10.23 mil radian instead of just 10.2. So you can favour the hold either a slightly higher or slightly low. 
In the options button, you can see that the metrics unit, metric units are ticked, mill units are ticked, it's calculating spin drift, the powder burning rate, the vertical deflection in crosswinds, Coriolis effect, and magnetic variation. Magnetic variation with our compass bearing is actually put into the screen here by putting in a latitude and the local magnetic variation of where you are on the Earth's surface. In our profiles button here we have atmospheric uh, data, bullet data, for instance. The bullet here we're using is a Berger 210 VLD. You can see the weight here. You can put in the length of the bullet too to give you a more refined measurement for your wind drift and spin drift. Muzzle velocity, rifle twist, powder burning rate, and the name. You have a lot of other things here in the profiles area as well, like your offsets, rifle, which is your bullet and your turret data. Your turret being your scope and the height above the ball the scope is mounted. A bullet database and a cartridge database. In the ranging here, you have GPS information, map information for ranging, range finder information as well, and your reticle ranging information. So just going over that once more, if I was to change this target distance to 600 metres, and change our wind direction completely to the other way, Watch what happens down here in the elevation when I hit calculate. Simple solution there. Now the windage has changed to the other direction, a 0.9 mil radian adjustment, 4.3 mil radians of elevation required. Okay, before I mentioned that we were going to look at this solution with a minute of angle scope turret solution. So down here in the rifle button, I'll press that and I've already got a preloaded rifle with a scope or a turret solution built into it. 300 WSM in excess, the Night Force in excess scope which is quite popular. Has a minute of angle or a quarter minute click turret system with it, windage and elevation. Now down here you can see in the minutes of angle area below the elevation button for a 600 meter shot with a 4 meter per second wind at 3 o'clock using the 300 WSM it requires 15.3 minutes of angle in the elevation area here. If you look below in the turret solution it's already been built in so 15.3 minutes of angle is actually one complete turn of the turret then to number 5 plus one click, which is a lot easier to read using the software. So if I was to change this shot to a 1000 meter shot, hit calculate, now I require 35.3 minutes of angle for the shot to be on target. We know that it's only a quarter minute clicks with those scopes. So that would be rounded off to 35.25, in which case it would be three complete revolutions to number five and one click.